It's not that she was a hero. It's that she didn't go over a cliff with the rest of society. So there is a woman, and I just thought of this, so I wanna do a quick video, and I didn't have time to look her name up. We actually have a party going on here in a little bit, so I didn't have time to look her name up, but she was in World War II, she was in the Holocaust, and she was helping the Jews uh, get food and I believe even escape uh, during the Holocaust and what was happening there. And years later, uh, she had helped many Jews, and she was asked, you know, why, why was it you were such a hero? Why was it that you were so different and everyone else was just sucked in like non-playable characters? Why were they just sucked into the system and just were going along with, with the, the tragedy and the chaos? And she said, it's not that I was a hero. It's not that I was something special. It's that I chose to stand still and the rest of society went over the cliff. That's it. That's it. So when you see the things going on today, the culture war we talk about, the bio war, the misinformation war, all the insanity going on. We have a real fight of good versus evil going on. And we're seeing it everywhere. It's inundating you purposely through media. And again, we talk about many books, many books that talk about this being done purposely, right? Tragedy and Hope, the Conspirators Hierarchy, Communist Manifesto, um, The Naked Communist, right? There's, there's hundreds of books we can show you that clearly outlines what's happening and it matches up with exactly what's going in re reality. So you're being inundated over and over purposely to trip your circuit, like an electrical board, to trip your circuit. So you just check out and say, you know what, I'm done. And we know from Plato, he says, those who are checked out, those who aren't involved in politics, that means daily life. That basically means daily life, governance of your local uh, municipality, governance of your, uh, the federal municipality, the state, everything. When you're not plugged in, you have no idea what's going on. You're not involved in the, in the talk. You're not involved in, in the conversation. You will be governed by your inferiors. We know that to be true. Absolutely, 100% to be true. And all, all we really have to do is stay at our true north we have to have a true north though is it nature's law are you are you catholic are you christian are you what are you you know what are you have a true north have your true north but so many people are so all over the place no rudder in the ocean no sail no nothing they are they're secular they 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 believe that they're just going to be able to find reality somehow and find truth and and quite honestly i don't know i don't know life has proven that to be uh, viable to be quite honest. Um, the people that, that I know are the happiest are the people that are, that are the most based. They're questioning reality. They're the most faith-filled. They're the people that I know. They're, they're, again, they're the most fulfilled people. They're, they are the most fulfilled people. And, and so we have to question everything in boldness. And she said, we, we stand firm. We stand firm in truth and reality. And, and that's it. And we just let everyone go over a cliff with the rest of society. We're not changing math. Math isn't um, some type of, you know, there's not some cause behind math. We don't need to change math. There's not some crazy thing going on with all, with all, you know, society and all these different things, different projects we need to do. No, life is very simple. Humans choose to mess it up all the time. And that's where she hit the nail on the head that we must stand firm in truth, in reality, in objective truth. And as our friend Zach says, village idiot, he says it so well, we can't ignore reality. We can't accept reality. We have to submit to reality. We have to submit to nature's law. We have to submit to objective truth. That's it. That is it. And that's quite honestly why I love Bitcoin. I mean, that, that, that you see these principles start coming into in fruition and lining up together. Bitcoin is objective truth. It, it is TikTok next block. Every 10 minutes is verifiable. It's, it's something that you can run your own node and you can actually see what's going on. You can't do that at the Fed, you can't do that at any bank, you can't do that at the government, you can't do that at the budget, you can't do that at Congress, you can't do that at those things. But people accept it. They think that's okay. That's fine. We're gonna keep it going on, Brandon. Don't worry. Oh, the fiat, the government, the dollar. Oh, I would rather have truth. I would rather have truth. I wanna base my life off truth. Everything in life. And I'm still searching, like I said, question even the existence of God himself. I'm Catholic. I'm very faithful. I'm always learning though. I'm always growing. And I question myself every day. I question what I'm learning. I read every day, I read scriptures and I, I question things and I'm trying to get better understanding. That's the purpose of life is growth, is learning, is a higher being, a higher self. And so many of us, unfortunately, have been beaten down, our circuits tripped by the machine, by the media machine, by the print and electronic media, by the people up atop trying to trip your circuit so that you check out and then you are governed by your inferiors. So stand firm in truth and reality. Find, let's all, let's all make a pact that we will search for truth and, and objective truth and reality and stand firm in it. And let society, let the 90%, let the 80% let the go and wash right past us and go right over the cliff into the ocean. That's fine. The poor will always be among you. As the little guy comes out here, I have to wrap up. But that's the message.
So I would love to know your thoughts. Please question everything with boldness, even the existence of God himself. Thank Daddy. you for coming to my TED Talk. It's not financial advice, it's freedom advice. I look forward to seeing you on the next one. It's a good one, bud? Yeah? All right. Take care.